You just killed one of my ships and my Entering pilot in that Black ship. Uh, no mercy for you. You can f*** right off, dude. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming. In this episode, we are going to continue uh, exploring. Uh, I know this is like the third episode in a row that we've done this, but I I really need to get um, the rest of these territories uncovered. Um, however, um, I got some good news. We have hit. Let's see where are we where are we looking at. We have hit level twenty with Terran Protectorate, and we've also hit level twenty with Ministry of Finance. Uh, so we have those two promotions to do, and once we do the promotions, you know, then their high-end ships and, and so forth will be available to us. Plus, we can go to Earth and um, the Moon. However, since we're kind of way over here right now, I'm currently sitting in two grand. Uh, I want to keep exploring and opening up sectors to the east. Uh, I don't want to wait too much longer, though. Because uh, we need to get back to Family Zen and try and take this sector back from the Xenon before they make, you know, further incursions. Uh, because I do not want them to take over, uh, you know, Xyarth up in that area. But um, I think the higher priority right at the moment is for us to, to keep exploring. At the very least, I want to just open up the, spri uh, the split free family sectors, which I, I, I know are up in this, you know, this area kind of more in the northeast. Okay, so um, let's go ahead then and um, I'm right at the gate. Like, I mean, literally right at the gate. <laughs> so let's hop through it. Entering system, guiding star. Nice. <clears throat> I like the look of that planet there. Okay, let's do a long range and take a look and see what this sector is. Oh, this is, this is an Argon sector. Interesting. Okay. So, my guess is that there's probably going to be a gate up this way. So, let's kind of start heading north and see what we can find. Look at the... Look at those rings, man. That is cool. It's like a big, long ring in an irregular um, orbit around the around that planet. That's really cool. Okay, so let's head on up this way. And initially, the Argon Federation rushed to claim this system for its resources in anticipation of a potential conflict with the Terran Navy. At first, the colonists were wary of the vulnerability their remote position brought with it, but since those early stages of settlement, they managed to develop a sizable industry capable of sustaining and defending the system despite the distance to the heart of the Federation. This self-reliance would prove critical when the jump gates disrupted the exchange of supplies between Guiding Star and the rest of the Federation. It also gave the colonists a fighting chance against split families looking to gain a foothold in the system and enslaving its inhabitants. Enslaving? That's not very nice. Um, It's got sunlight, but it doesn't have any other resources, so... Why were they fight <clears throat> wanting to fight this system for resources? I don't know. Or fight for this system. Not really sure. Okay, so we found ourselves a, a super highway gate. Let's go through that and see what's on the next next side. Entering guiding star seven. Maybe the resources are in this this part instead. Unknown station. Oh, there's a wharf. Actually, that's really good because we only have one other Argon wharf at the moment that's available to us in Black Hole Sun. Um, so it's good to know that there's another one. Okay. Um, well, let's once again kind of head northish. Oh, let's get our scouts. Yeah, it looks like these scouts are all done scouting uh, the previous sectors, so let's get them over here. Uh, no, not trade offers. Remove that order. Explore. And we'll have you explore. Okay. 
Let's head north. Look at that, we're heading right towards the gate. Entering system, 11th hour. 11th hour. Okay, also an Argon system. The outpost colonized by the Argon refugees who cut who got cut off from the Federation when the jump gates ceased to function. Oh, an outpost colonized. Its proximity to split territory, small size, and its inherent vulner vulnerability make it a primary target for any split family looking for an easy for easily obtained slave labor. Since the realignment, those Argon citizens who have not yet been captured or killed by the split were widely started have widely started fleeing the system. Can't read tonight, my goodness. Well, uh, looking towards the stability and security of the Argon Federation can provide them. Many of these refugees are forced to leave behind everything they possess when they set out for safety. Only a few very stoic or brave pioneers remain behind to face the encroaching split. Okay. <clears throat> well, maybe the split deserved to have the Xenon take over their sectors, except for that that doesn't help us out. <laughs> All right, let's do another scan here. Hmm. Okay, we got we got a station there. Let's go a little further north here, and then we'll do another scan. There we go. Also need to get another scout up here. So scout three can come up here and explore. Entering system, Zyox Dominion. We already know Zyarth's Dominion. Okay. Wait, do we? No, we don't. What we knew Zyre's Dominion for, but not not this one. Okay. I got an equipment dock up there. Okay, let's move a little closer to the center and then we'll You know what I should do next time I I'm trying to find a gate like that with the guidance. So I should just pick a point in space near the gate, but not exactly on it, because then it'll mark it like this. That just occurred to me. Oh, look at that. We're in that same system that has the accretion disk, but we're way above it now. That is neat looking. That's the binary star system. Love that stuff. Oh, there's a, a gate right there. And a trading station. Ah. Oh. I was asked to drop my car. Who was Station Hauler Zero? Uh, you can get away from him. Actually, you're in Black Hole Sun. We can probably send a patrol over there to deal with that threat. Oh, you guys were telling me in the comments too that I, I don't want to wait too long in removing the cock hives or they'll just get worse. So we're going to have to have to deal with that too. He's right here. Oh, that's a, that's a destroyer. Okay. For the destroyers, I basically send a 
Let's send all of our fighters. Well, we should probably... They need to kind of arrive together because if they don't, then they can get in trouble. But if I have enough fighters, then the fighters can take that destroyer down easily. So why don't we... Tell you guys to fly and wait there. We'll tell you guys to fly and wait here. And I'm going to take the whole entire katana along with its chimeras over here too. So once they all get there, then what we'll do is we'll we'll go hunting this guy. Um, you know what though? Actually, we could probably tell the Chimeras just to go take out his surface elements. Yeah, let's do that. I think they'll be fine. Once they get there, we'll. We'll go into live stream mode and kind of watch the fight a little bit. But uh, he's fleeing, and he should be fleeing from the destroyer. Okay. Anyway, back to us now. So yeah, we've we're back there. So there might be a gate on this side. It's possible that there's a gate going out of there too. Oh, here's a jump gate here. Okay, here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to go fly to here and just do a scan. And if I don't find anything, uh, then I will meet you guys at this gate here in just a little bit. All right. So that damn behemoth killed our station trader. So basically what we're going to do is just tell everybody who's here to attack surface elements. Um, I don't necessarily want to bring the katana into the fight yet. So, why don't we... Let's close that. Remove your order and fly and wait there. And we'll also grab these fighters and tell them to attack surface elements. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Can I... Yeah, I can't get to a behavior when I have multiple selections like that. But what we could do is remove this order. So that they take the next order. I think that's what they'll do anyway. Yeah, they're starting to turn around now. Let's have the katana attack but I'm not gonna oh we gotta do the same thing for it remove this order so these guys look like they're going uh, what are you gonna do okay let's do this let's um Auto. disengage Let's have you stop here. And we're going to jump in the katana ourselves. Entering system, black hole sun. Hello. Hello. Behemoth Sentinel. Okay. I want to stop this guy from going through the gate.
needs my countermeasures? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I, have, I almost never get attacked by missiles. It looks like my fighters are starting to go after him. Missiles in this ship. What the hell is my flares? It's um. It said it was button twelve, but I don't actually know what button twelve is because here, let me pause the game. It doesn't um. My Hotas stick has a, a different labeling. It doesn't say button twelve, so it's not as simple as it might sound. Um, I think it's. Not that one. Is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. Okay. So I figured it out. I, I mean, I literally have not had to use flares, well, maybe once or twice a long time ago. And it's not obviously not something I do all the time because I couldn't remember which button to use. Oh, for Pete's sake, really? We were hit. They took out his engines, which is why he's just sitting there. Incoming missile. Okay, just threw some flares out. I'm going to go through the, the gate. Yep. <laughs> Just went through the gate. Okay. Sorry, but no. Uh, you just killed one of my... Oh, that coming... Uh, you just killed one of my ships and my pilot in that ship. Uh, no mercy for you. You can f*** right off, dude. You are a dead mofo. I'll spare you if you jump out of the ship and give it to me. He, yeah, he's so dead. Extra Goodbye. Watch. Get away, fighters. Do not mess with Reaver Industries. It will not go well for you. Okay, well, that was a, a bit of a comedy of errors, but it all it all came together. Um, so let's let the katana go back to its patrol. And we will teleport back to our scout. And all of these ships should just go back to doing what they were doing before I called them over here. Okay. Um, I don't think we lost any combat ships. We just lost the, yeah, the station hauler itself. Then he asked for mercy. What an asshole. Not going to happen, dude. Okay, let's get back Pegasus, to this. Vanguard. Whoops. Hit the wrong button again. Yeah, those are my flares. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything over here. Not expecting there to be, but figured we check. Let's go to this gate. Entering system. Fires of defeat. Fires of defeat. That sounds ominous. Um. Oh, this is a xenon system. 
So an unknown object there and an unknown object there. We'll have to add this to the blacklist. That's a satellite, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's a gate. System matrix number nine. All right, matrix is a xenon system. Let's pause for a second. There's a gate right there. Okay, let's go to here and to our blacklist. We're gonna add fires of. Defeat and matrix number nine. Oh, I need to add the other matrix system as well. <clears throat> Is Litany of Fury? Are those um Xenon systems? I don't remember. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Okay, so I think what we want to do then is, well, let's let's just fly down here. We know that's a gate right there, and do another scan just to see what's here. Station, station. Thing up this way. All right, let's go here. Not much has been recorded about the system. Rarely do ships venture this far into Xenon space. I was asked to draw my and it is even more rare when they return to share their findings. Okay, who's being harassed? Courier one. Now he can get away from him. Don't worry about that. Um, for this reason, little is known about the planet contained within it. While it appears to be a planet of barren vegetation, some suspect it to be rich in ore hidden beneath the surface layers. Despite these speculations, no one dares go near it, since trying to settle it would surely result in being targeted by the Xenon, you think? Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else out that way. That asteroid looked suspiciously like a ship, but it's not. Okay, so we have a gate here. Let's go through that gate. There's a data vault, but I'm not really too concerned about doing that right now. Entering system matrix number four, five, Another one. Another Xenon system. After the Talati company had reconnected with the Yonamasura, they sent out a fleet of scouts to seek potential new trade partners and reestablish the old business relationships. It took the fleet some time before they encountered the Xenon. They were operating deep within the system, far from the gate. The scouts soon came to the realization that they were surrounded by hostile forces. 
and at that point they were far from any reinforcements. Their natural flight instinct came to the fore, and they hastily retreated towards the gate that led back to their home world. Many ships were picked off by intercepting Xenon along the way, but a few ships made it back. Unfortunately, their failed exploration drew the Xenon closer to the jump gate, and Xenon attacks have now become common occurrences. Okay. Okay, there's an unknown object up here. Stop. We'll see what that is. Yeah, it's another gate. Ooh, we just barely made it through there. <laughs> Entering system. Family Ticker. Family Ticker is taken over by the Xenon, maybe? Yes, it is. That sucks. Okay, that's probably... That gate probably just leads into the system right above. We just didn't find it from the other side, maybe. Let's go through it just to make sure. Entering system. Fires of defeat. Yep, it is. Okay, let's flip around and go back. Entering system. Family took her. Okay, so let's stop or pause rather for a second. Um, did I add fires of defeat to the global blacklist? I don't remember. Probably did. Yes, we did. Okay, so we also need to add family ticker and. We found another matrix system, too. All right, let's go back to the map now. There could be a gate. Going this way over into split space. Because we didn't actually fly all the way over there. Um, or likewise, there could be one this way too so let's uh, let's do let's go here first yep there it is right there man wouldn't that suck if it, if the xenon had completely wiped out the split families the free families then we really need to protect family Zyarth. Entering system, Argus Ravine. Okay. This is actually a split system, but it has definitely Xenon incursions coming into it. stations. Let's do another scan here. Oh, never mind. It's right there. Tharka's Ravine 16. Tharka's Ravine 16. Okay. Let's remove this. We've got a trading station there. All right, let's head north and do a scan up this way. There we go. I see a gate right there. 
Some big asteroids in this system. Entering system. Art of Acrimony. Art of Acrimony. A system of great significance to the free families, while they have made an effort to dis distance themselves from the imperialist patriarchal structures of old, the free families still hold with the tradition of honoring their fallen patriarchs. In a show of def deference, they host a funeral procession, which is usually only attended by family members and most distinguished guests. At the culmination of the ceremony, a fun funeral ship is sent through an otherwise deactivated accelerator. Due to its relative distance to the Zyroth patriarchy, this system is also a gathering place for various factions opposed to Zyoth's patriarchal rule. Okay, so this has a wharf. Oh, wow. I love the color of this system. It looks like you're actually in the sky on Earth. Very cool. Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, <laughs> he just blew up an asteroid. I, was going, I saw this big dark cloud all of a sudden. I'm going, what? All right, we got another gate up here. Yeah, this is a cool system, man. Oh, right. The gate that doesn't actually work. Okay, let's do a, another scan here. Okay, so those are all station, station, station. There's something there. I think we already looked at all of those. Uh, we didn't read Tharka's Ravine. When Tharka, when the Tharka expedition first made their way into space, they were elated to come across another jump gate. Here, the expeditionary fleet split into two groups, one of which, led by Patriarch Tharka himself, would make a detour to explore the newly uncovered system beyond the gate, while the other would push deeper into the heart of the system. They had picked up a planet on their scanners that could potentially sustain them, and so they set out to colonize it. It was from this sector that the Starcross family, Tharka, set out to colonize the distant frontiers of the universe. Nowadays, its proximity to several jump gates makes it the center of free family territory as a result of its position. Tharka's Ravine 24 was the immediate choice for Zyroth to establish a colonial presence. The Patriarch of All Splits set out without hesitation to build the Hall of Judgment, from which police operations could be coordinated. This impressive station also serves as a seat from which to judge and execute potential insurgents. Understandably, it is looked upon by the Free Families as a monument of oppression rather than an institution working towards peace and stability. Uh, let's actually go back and look at that because that's kind of a, an unusual thingy. Um, well, actually, no, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Let's go. You cannot. What? No. Go here. I want to keep exploring for the moment. I really like this system. Well, this is cool, man. That is a navigation beacon. Okay. Alright, so this might be the furthest north sector. Um... Well, at least over here. Maybe. We've already been up in that section. We didn't see a gate. I don't know if I did a long-range scan up there, though. I think I did. Not sure, though. Well, let's, let me, I'm just going to double-check since we're here. Next 
Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything else up here. Um, so for now, I'm going to assume that this is the furthest north, uh, uh, at least from this point. Why don't we go... Why don't we go down to here and do a scan? As soon as we can establish a safe path to get here, I'm... I'll bring some traders up here to start working on reputation with these guys. But right now, I think they'd have to go through Xenon territory to get here, right? Let me look. Yeah. Uh, but I, I would expect that there's... Oh, you know what? Something just occurred to me. This is Xyarth. Because it's a darker orange than free families. Oh, how interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So we got to keep going here because we have to find a safe path for our traders to get here. And currently they'd have to go through Xenon territory, which we, of course, don't want them to do. So let's keep on keeping on. Let's go that way. Eight. Hit Tharka's Ravine 8. When after some time the Patriarch's group, which had stayed behind to explore the system, <coughs> excuse me, did not receive any word from the Vanguard expedition, they followed the second group through the gate as they had passed the point of no return and were starting to run out of supplies. They had no other choice but to push onward in the hope of eventually reuniting their two expeditions. Okay. Um, let's go northish first. Okay, so there's an accelerator here. Uh, but I also want to scan down south too before we go through it. Ravine or so Arcas Fall. Xenon sector, maybe? Yep. Darkas Fall. Uh that's that's too much text. If you guys want to read it, pause the screen. <laughs> Man, nothing at all showed up on the scan. We'll go a little further in and scan one more time. All right, doesn't look like there's much here, so let's head on back to the gate. Okay, so I don't think there's anything more um, in Tharka's Ravine 8. So let's head on back over. I want to take a look at that Hall of Justice building just just to do it. And then we'll have to figure out what our next move is. Four. Man, look at all the Xenon ships. Okay, so let's see here. We want to go there. 
I can't really hang out here because there's a lot of enemies. Yeah, we're being pursued. Let's go. No criminal identified. Please assist in pursuit. All right. Well, um, let's pause the game for a second and assess the situation. We never went up here, so let's do that, and we could see if there's possibly another gate down there, but yeah, none of those are gates. We already came down south that way. It doesn't look like there might be a whole lot to the free families. I haven't found a shipyard yet. We got we do have a wharf here. I suppose some of those could have been shipyards. We might need to go back there and look again. But if this is the only way to get up here, then we have a bit of a problem. What I probably would do is send couriers because they're fast <clears throat> and theoretically should be able to run the blockade to get up here and just start trading with them. But these guys are kind of in trouble because the Xenon are already encroaching into this sector. And then my guess is that this originally was a split system that got taken over. And possibly even Fires of Defeat was originally. I don't know. Well, but it's not overall looking really good for these guys. And, and this is already, you know... Zyarth. Anyways, that's not even free families to begin with. So let's go ahead and just fly down south and do another scan just to make sure that we, you know, checked everything. Yeah, there do not appear to be any gates down here. Let's go north and do the same thing. Okay, this might be a gate here. Yep, indeed it is. Shoot at me, you bastard. Entering system. Fires of defeat. Oh, this just comes back out of fires of defeat. Okay. N. Okay. Um. Well, I guess what I'll do is let's go back up to Heart of Acrimony and check out some of these other stations because I want to see if they have a shipyard up here. That looks like a shipyard right there. Medical supply fact magpie sentinel. Split shipyard. Yep, there we go. Okay. So we found their shipyard. <clears throat> All right, well, um, I did not find any other pathway through here. So what we would need to do then is probably gather, um, gather up some couriers 
and and then guide them through fires of defeat to get over to here and and have them start trading but man Fran free families only have three sectors wow that's crazy unless there's more you know down here that you know that you can get through, through some other way but i am not i'm not seeing anything here that sh you know shows unknown object to get through so I mean, I'm not sure what the free families have that Zyreth does not have other than I believe they have um, flak turrets that are that do more damage than the Argon, but have slower tracking. And I think for a flak turret in particular, faster tracking is probably going to be more desirable because flak turrets are for, you know, small, fast ships. Um, but you know, we still have, I, I mean, I haven't been to Iana Missouri in a long, long time. So everything we're looking at here is old information. This, this place could be completely taken over by the split now too. Um, and it's possible that there's a gate down here that would go, go there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fly... You know, it's, it's also very possible that there's a southern gate here in Family Takur also. Uh, so if I don't find one there, then I'll I'll look and see if there's a su southern gate in Matrix 451 that leads down into Iana, Missouri. And then we'll have to we'll have to work on exploring the southeastern portion of the or the southeastern quadrant of the map later cuz this video has already gone way too long. So what I think I might do, I really want to get back over to Terran space and do the ceremony uh, and get an Asgard going. And, you know, seeing how that the free families are, if these are the only three sectors they have left, you know, they're definitely under, under threat and we might lose them. But we definitely want to save Zyarth from being overrun. Uh, because if both, you know, the Free Families and Zyarth are overrun, then we're screwed. The other thing I could do is just go, you know, back to Zyarth and, and buy... Uh, I would want to buy a blueprint for a rattlesnake, a raptor, which is going to be damned expensive... And probably a, a dragon and chimeras. Those are the sh their, the ships of theirs that I really want to have. Whether I'm buying them from them or eventually make them myself, because if they get wiped out, you know, then uh, and I don't have the blueprints, then I'm kind of screwed in that regard. So I'll have to kind of give all that some consideration. But I think the ideal scenario is that we try and save Zyarth. Um, and I don't know, maybe we could save free families too. I'm not really sure, but it's not looking too good for them right now. And I just don't have the resources at this point in time, you know, to necessarily be able to take a fleet all the way over there and, and bail them out. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can though. We'll see. We'll just have to see how things go. But anyway, um, what I'm going to do guys is I think I'm going to keep exploring off camera. Cause you know, we've done three episodes in a row now of just exploring and i'm pretty sure for some of you anyways that's probably kind of boring some of you probably don't mind it but i think i'll i'll uncover the rest of the territories myself but what i'll do is i'll keep the recorder running or at least ready to start in case i come across something interesting and then i can maybe show you like a montage uh, or you know just some footage of any of that stuff but i think this will probably be the last exploration episode we're going to do um, because as far as i'm aware we have a few more sectors in this area and then we have pretty much uncovered everything so with that being said i'm gonna let you guys go here thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment to share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye